Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day. And today, the San Antonio Spurs are trading for Harrison Barnes. This trade actually happened a couple of days ago as it was the signing trade for DeMar DeRozan. The deal was officially made today, uh, completed today. Um, I haven't been able to talk about any of the, you know, DeMar DeRozan, Harrison Barnes, Crystal Warte deal uh, because my power has been out for like the last 30 hours. So, um, Hurricane in Houston, not fun. But uh, power's back on, and this is something I've been wanting to talk about, you know, for the last over 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 the last day. And um, this was a big deal that happened in the NBA. Um, so Demar Derozan is going to Sacramento in a sign and trade, and he's going he's he's signing a three year seventy three million dollar deal. And Sacramento is sending Harrison Barnes to the San Antonio Spurs, and they're sending Chris Duarte two second-round picks in cash considerations to the Chicago Bulls. I wanted to focus on the Spurs part of this deal and them acquiring Harrison Barnes. I love this deal. Uh, you're adding in a guy who uh, still, even though he's 12 years into his NBA career and 32 years old, uh, can still can still play good basketball. I mean, uh, this past season, he the last two seasons, he's played every single game. He has not missed a game in the last two seasons. Played every single game this season, playing every every game at 82 games with Sacramento and did the same thing in the 2022-23 season. He averaged 29 minutes per game this season with Sacramento. And uh, in those 29 minutes per game, he shot 47% from the floor, 39% from three. That, I, that's why I love this addition uh, for San Antonio. San Antonio, not a great three-point shooting team last year. Yeah, they have some solid three-point shooters on their roster, like Dev Vassell's not a bad three-point shooter. Um, you know, also you have, you know, who am I saying? Uh, Kelvin Johnson's a pretty good three-point shooter. When Benyama as a rookie was not bad from three. And they have some other solid, shooters, you know, three-point shooters on this team, but that, that is a weak spot. Harrison Barnes and Chris Paul, both of the guys they brought in this offseason, definitely bring that. And they didn't show a lot of urgency to improve the three point shooting in the draft while, you know, by drafting uh, Stefan Castle, but they've showed that in, you know, adding in veterans like Harrison Barnes and Chris Paul, who are still really good three point shooters. Barnes, who shot 39% from three, averaged 12.2 points per game, three rebounds per game, two assists per game, and one steal per game. And I believe he even had a 41 point performance against the Golden State Warriors. I know he had a career high into Golden State Warriors, scoring like 40 or something. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try to look up what that exactly was. I remember watching him like, Oh, I was like, uh, no way Harrison Barnes just I, – I mean, I knew Harrison Barnes is, is like s still can hoop and uh, not down that he could, you know, still have a really good game. But, like, I didn't – I wasn't ex – I wouldn't expect Harrison Barnes to go out there and score over uh, th 33 points. And he, he went in I think, scored like 41 or 42 points against the Golden State Warriors um, uh, this season against – yeah, uh, or sorry, I, I was a little bit off. 39 points against the Golden State Warriors on January 25th. So this is still someone who can go out there and put up some decent numbers, put up 39 points, a career high against Golden State on the on you know on January 25th. And I think he's a good veteran to have, especially for a young team. Um, obviously, Chris Paul, you know, Chris Paul is a good addition. He's going to be a great veteran for this team to have and a, a great facilitator for this team to have. He's going to be great on and off the court. Uh, and this team already has a guy, you know, like Greg Popovich, who's experienced to, you know, help them learn and grow. And they have Chris Paul on and off the court. But I think another guy like Harrison Barnes, who, you know, something I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get at Chris Paul here because I think Chris Paul would be great for these young guys. But Harrison Barnes uh, and no, nothing to Chris, nothing towards Chris Paul. Harrison Barnes has won an NBA championship. He won a championship with the Golden State Warriors. He has NBA championship experience. So he definitely brings that. But I think more importantly, one of the things that I love is he brings great three point shooting to the San Antonio team. And I think something they'll really love. Um, yeah. And I really think he could end up in the starting lineup potentially. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, right now, I mean, um, you could put Barnes at the. Th I mean, you could put Barnes at the three. That's def or sorry at the four. That's definitely possible. You can have Victor Wembanyama Win at the five. You could have Chris Paul at the one and Devin Vassell at the uh, at the two. And then at the three, I mean, you have a couple options at the three. Uh, you could put 
Jeremy Sohan at the three. Uh, you could put Keldon Johnson. Now, on the ESPN depth chart right now, they have Chris Paul starting at point guard, Devin Vassell starting at shooting guard, Harrison Barnes starting at small forward, Jeremy Sohan starting at power forward, Wen Binyama starting at center, and then off the bench, they have uh, Trey Jones, Stephon Castle, Keldon Johnson, and Zach Collins. Now, I could see the Spurs going with that route. Uh, me, personally... I mean, I, I don't think that's a bad starting lineup to have. I, I think that's probably the starting lineup they'll go with, but uh, not a not a bad not a bad team. I, I think San I think San Antonio will be a very solid team next year because they have a little bit of a mix of everything in their starting lineup. You got the young guys with, uh, you know, Vassell and, and Jeremy Sohan. Uh, obviously, Wimbenyama is a is a young guy, but I think he's more of a de- developed young guy, um, someone who. Uh, even though he's going to be playing in his second year next year, he's not going to look like it with how good Wimbenyamo is going to be next year. Uh, and then you have your veterans in the lineup like Chris Paul and Harrison Barnes. And then off the bench, you have uh, a little bit of a mix of veterans and, and young guys with Stefan Castle and Trey Jones. And then you have some veterans with Keldon Johnson and Zach Collins. Not a bad San Antonio Spurs team. Uh, obviously, I don't think with how stacked the Western Conference is, I don't think they're a play-in threat. Maybe I, th- I think Wimbenyamo is going to have to have a huge year for them to be a play-in threat in the Eastern Conference, I think this San Antonio Spurs is the this San Antonio Spurs team is an eight or nine seed. Uh, but in a stacked Western Conference, I think you're looking at them potentially being like the twelfth or eleventh seed in the Western Conference, maybe thirteenth seed. Let me know your thoughts on the trade for the Spurs in the comment section, and peace out.